Hello and welcome to the Project Using Ruby on Rails course. My name is Brad Travisy. I'll be your instructor for this series. I just wanted to quickly go over what this course includes. Uh, it's a project-based course building websites and applications using the Ruby on Rails framework. Okay, there'll be five chapters and there'll be one project per chapter. There'll be five to nine sections per chapter and there's about one to three videos per section usually one but sometimes we'll have two and three so what should you know before taking this course uh, I'm not gonna say that you absolutely have to know all of these but uh, it would really help if you knew at least the basics uh, of programming fundamentals basically the core components that most computer languages include which are variables arrays loops conditionals uh, things like that HTML and CSS you don't have to be a professional designer uh, but it would help if you know how to at least build a, a simple website or web page using HTML and CSS uh, obviously that, that those are the building blocks of the web and ultimately that's what Ruby on Rails is going to create MVC model view controller if you don't know this design pattern that's okay uh, you can kinda learn as we go along basically this this design pattern helps us keep programming logic away from presentation okay so models take care of database or data uh, views take care of what the user sees templates things like that and controller basically is the router it, it, it reads the URL and decides where that's supposed to point to okay so the technology and concepts in this course uh, we have HTML5 and CSS again model view controller uh, RVM which stands for Ruby version manager that's what we're going to use to install Ruby uh, Ruby gems okay gems are a huge part of rails basically they're little uh, little programs or extensions or modules uh, whatever you want to call them uh, and they're very helpful crud operations and methods by crud I mean create read update and delete okay so all our rails applications will include resources whether it's pages or blog posts or uh, events or whatever uh, we should be able to perform these operations on them the Linux command line don't worry if you don't know anything about that um, everything's gonna be pretty straightforward we're going to use Ubuntu to develop uh, which is a really popular Linux platform um, MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Lite are the three most popular databases to use with Rails um, and we'll be taking a look at all three of those. RESTful routing so basically Rails uses RESTful routing uh, it reads the HTTP request and it, it'll route to uh, the needed page based on that. Um, testing okay so with Rails you can have test driven development uh, we'll look we'll go a little into that um, and that's those are the main things of course there's other topics and concepts we'll touch on but these are the main concepts uh, that we're going to focus on in this course so our five projects okay the first is going to be a bookstore which uh, will have uh, books categories authors publishers those will be our main resources and we'll be able to grab the books from a MySQL database and display them and we'll also we'll also be able to add books add categories as well as authors and publishers uh, all from the front end we're not going to implement a login system for that particular application uh, just to save time uh, chapter 2 the R blog blogging system will have a, a login or a user system where they can log into the back end to uh, create blog posts and categories um, let's see our gallery okay so we'll create an image gallery using rails uh, we'll use a little bit of jQuery too for effects such as the light box and we'll have an overlay effect when you hover over an image and we'll also be able to create categories and images from the front end chapter 4 will be a content management system and we'll be using active admin which is uh, a really great gem for for our rails where uh, it'll provide us with an admin interface to create uh, read update and delete resources 
and in chapter five we'll create uh, a full e-commerce website using the spree gem uh, spree is is basically a full featured open source shopping cart uh, so we'll be doing that we'll customize it um, we'll link uh, PayPal so that users can pay with PayPal all right things like that so those are our five projects I hope you enjoy them uh, and I will see you in the first project thanks